today is a moment in time for all of us to recognize we must change direction. Those words from Virginia Governor Glenn Youngkin Thursday as he unveiled the report he called for on his first day of office to look at learning standards and achievement gaps in the Commonwealth. The trends have been heading in the wrong direction. The administration says the report has four key takeaways, among them a comparison of scores and proficiency rates from the state's SOLs and a national assessment, the difference between the two called the honesty gap. Scores from our state assessments are telling us that our students are much higher in proficiency than they actually are. The report also states this gap is even wider for black and Hispanic students. Officials say their other key takeaways include a lack of transparency when it comes to reporting these issues and an erosion of parent trust pointing to the increase in homeschooling over the past two years. Parents are losing faith in us to help them make sure that their children are set up to be successful, happy, and accomplished. We cannot know where we're going unless we know where we're starting. And where we're starting is not where we thought we were. Youngkin says he'll use seven guiding principles to address these issues, including empowering parents, raising standards, and supporting innovation. Including lab schools, governor schools, magnet schools, charter schools. Meanwhile, groups like the Virginia Education Association and state Democrats are criticizing the report, calling it biased, and say he's cherry-picking data to push towards school privatization. Democratic State Senator Jennifer McClellan adds she agrees there are achievement gaps in schools, but the way to go about addressing it is to fully implement and fund standards of quality the Board of Education has been recommending for years. Which is everything from staffing ratios to wraparound services, um, we need to fully uh, pay our teachers and support personnel, get rid of the cap on state funding of support personnel. Atif Carney, Secretary of Education under Democratic Governor Ralph Northam adds it's a politicized document as it only looks at the time during the last two governors, both Democrats, and says it doesn't include things like student discipline or nutrition and career versus college readiness. I don't think they fully understand all the different uh, lanes of education and how to really connect the dots and the in intersection of many things. Now the complete report from the governor's office is over 30 pages so if you'd like to take a look at it in its entirety you can head to our website WTVR.com where you'll also see responses from both sides of the aisle. Working for you at the state capitol camera.